And we are underway. We have Major League Soccer action for you from our nation's capital. It's Chris Durkin getting a touch, and right away they go up that left side, which has two players. Boy, uh, they, they, they're still celebrating. Uh, just a wonderful goal. And he was in, also involved in the first goal for D.C. United as they lost 6-2 to Bayern Munich. Back to Donovan Pines, who making his 50th start, but Kyoto steals it. Romo is out. Pines trying to recover. Kyoto gets a shot off and scores. See at Montreal, the ambush. A turnover, and D.C. United has to pay dearly. That certainly is a dream start, and it simply just shouldn't have happened. You see Donovan Pines just miscalculates the pressure coming from Kyoto, and then he does a tremendous job not getting a red card there. You thought initially he was going to drag him down, and it's a sliding effort. You thought maybe holding him up was going to lead to a red card. Kyoto going down. Kyoto rides a challenge. Donovan Pai goes to ground. The touch just goes wide of the right post, but the cutback, the angle is so extremely tight there. His body going away from goal. Ilovich is standing over to the left. Kyoto right behind the ball. Ilovich will touch it out. The shot. Kone goes wide. Kyoto on side, Donovan Pines. This is for Mason Toy. Alistair Johnston, wow! But the flag goes up. That'll spoil Montreal's party. Too easy from a DC United standpoint in terms of just being able to be played through. You see Mihailovic just picking the ball up with 10 yards of space and he's just right at the half. A lot of new faces out on the field for the black and red. Funka showing his battle. Going at Waterman and winning the throw in. Waterman shadowing him. Samaki from Miguel Berry. Berry collects, shoots. The Panthemus comes out and does enough to frustrate Berry. You see the net blowing behind Panthemus. Pinballs, Jeff Ald takes a swat and then Panthemus is forced to make a save. Wow. On if it's going to almost the opportunistic score. Kyoto just in between Samake and Birnbaum. I'm just asking for the ball. There it is. Kyoto. Kyoto. That's a goal. And that's his second. And it's Montreal's second. He wanted it. He got it. He scored it. You can see him just taking a position. He sees Birnbaum stepping into the midfield to follow Mihailovic and Samake just pointing to Birnbaum before this ball was delivered, just wanting Birnbaum to drop back. But Samake understanding, knowing where his center back is that high up the field, you've got to cover for him. And it's just a simple, direct ball. And once he gets on the backside of Kyoto, a player of his class and quality, there's no chance of him in recover. And then the class and the quality was showcased in full display, and that finish just dinking it over Roma. Milovic, the through ball, left a line, and the save, Romo. Oh, it could have been three. Lovely slipped in pass, but you see there's absolutely no pressure, Mihailovic. <laughs> he can decide when he wants to release the ball. Releases the perfect weight. If not for a wonderful save from Romo, decent added, we've gone down 3 nothing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Kyoto sees Romo out. That was almost a gift. That's how you're going to break through Montreal. Is there the entry pass? Back in this game, Hopkins sending it in. Funka sends it. And Panthemus sends it. Again, that's the guy you want to get the ball. Strike this is from Taxi Funtas. Just left there by Birnbaum. He sets it up for him. Hopkins. Funtas again. We've seen this before. When he gets up to his and doesn't score, he still finds a way to prevail. Let's see what kind of opportunities he can provide as we know his blazing speed getting up that right flank. Underway second half of play. DC United. They uh, last time at home they carved their way back twice. Hopkins for Funtas. Taxi. This is Barry! That's 
a save by Venomous. Oh, Barry almost opened his DC account. Not an easy save. It's well worked between the two forwards for DC United. It's Puntas. Jackson Hopkins. Is he looking for that moment? Looking for bird ball. Uh, just me, what a ball it is from Hopkins. Pantamis can't come out for it. It lands just about the penalty spot. And it's a captain stepping up for his team. And he just wills himself to be first to the ball there. And he's doing whatever he can to flick it on to get it in between the sticks. And Pantamis, who's had a lovely evening in between the sticks for Montreal. Trudy Pietro. Puntas. Barry making a run. This is Barry. Slowing through, Barry gets a shot off, save, Pantamus. And why wouldn't they be? Once again, the two of four, it's just combining this time. It's Funtas just finding. I have to look up what position number 77 is <laughs> in the soccer terminology. Rodriguez to Funtas. Taxi. Still Taxi. The woodwork that I have. Which I think when he gets frustrated, he actually increases his yes. desire even more. But you love this. Funtas just picks the ball. Adui and Chim. Or pardon me, Kamani Smith. Getting into the box, stumbling a bit. Kamani Smith still with it, the shot. Oh, Kamani Smith. I was wondering why the whistle wasn't blown for this right there. It's a little clip there. And he's quick to get up. Didn't hear a whistle. He continued play as most young players do. Certainly a foul there, is there not? They're not having enough time. That's it. See so yeah, Montreal escapes with a 2-1 win. Two first half goals from Romel Kyoto.